everybody, welcome back to my channel. So somebody commented on one of my recent style challenge videos saying that I should try and dress like a rainbow. And I took that kind of literally. <laughs> and so here we are. I tried to dress like a rainbow for a week with one color for each day. And here is how that went. Richard of York gave battle in purple. No, Richard of York gave battle purple. <laughs> so that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's six days. And then if I'm feeling frisky, I might make it eight days and do like a full black and a full white outfit. But first, let's actually see what I have available. Orange and yellow, I think I've got down. I don't even have to check, just on the day, I will throw together something orange and yellow. Blue is an interesting one. I've got lots of blue lower half. Do I have anything blue upper half? I don't think so. I've got a whole bunch of red accessories. I've got this belt, I've got a bag, my coat is kind of red. I've got some sandals that are like ready orange. Do I have any actual clothes that are red? I don't think so. Green is another one where I've maybe got one or two green items uh, that don't make a full outfit. So green we're gonna be looking into. What colors haven't I mentioned? Purple. I have one purple top. Okay. Richard of York gave battle in, in, vin, in, in vain. Purple. What is the difference between indigo and violet? Bees me. Let's hunt for some clothes. out I do have a blue top it needs an iron this is my sole purple item which is a shame because purple is honestly a color that I think looks good on everyone I just realized I also have this does this count as red probably not we're dressing as a rainbow here we want to go like hard on the color it can't be like mm, it's not really red it's like it's a rainbow red purple but it's not the weather for it it is my branded <laughs> method jumper <laughs> it honestly is very cozy this is one of my only green items this green hoodie red and black <gasps> my petticoat from my wedding is red Do I do something with this? <laughs> Can you just wear a petticoat just as a skirt or do you have to wear something over the top of it? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. I also have this red and black stripy shirt, but it's not a block color. We're trying to go block colors here. Ooh, Dan's dressing gown is red. Green, green, it's green. Oh, do I scrap my block colour rule? Because I mean, this is a green dress. I'm trying to reduce the amount of new clothes that I buy for this challenge. Does this count as red? It's more of a, like a Winnie the Pooh orange. Oh, but is it red? This is definitely red. Mmm! It... Yeah? It's red? Oh my god. Have I found myself a green and a red outfit? And then I went to on loan to see if they had anything that I could rent that would work for this challenge. This isn't sponsored by on loan. I just love them. I love being able to rent fancy clothes. <laughs> and then it's sad when I have to give them back, but it's worth it. My clothes from on loan have arrived. <laughs> thought it looked really cool but actually <laughs> I think it might be way too big for me oh well, maybe not I don't know it's definitely a maxi dress this one's a green option oh green and this one's my 
purple option. Which is another long dress. Mm. Lots of long dresses. We need to regroup. These two things are not the same colour. I don't really think they work. Also, the size 10 is really massive on me. So I'm gonna have to see if they have these trousers in a size eight. And then I think I might head to Depop and see if I can just get a plain red t-shirt to match. This is a size 10, I don't understand. And now let the rainbow week commence. So what I've done here, I think is accidentally created a rich white woman on holiday look <laughs> my sunglasses are red i forgot um here's my beautiful red bag there we go i also have some sandals on which i thought were ready orange but they're definitely orange so we'll just say that the feet is like a transitional zone to tomorrow <laughs> they're definitely orange but this outfit this outfit i was worried about day one i thought we were gonna get off to a rocky start but i mean this is not an outfit for today's actual outside weather but i can be inside like this <laughs> um welcome to orange day this might be the most chaotic day um i wasn't entirely expecting it we have orange bralette slash comfort bra, an orange top, an orange jacket, orange lipstick. This lipstick is from Topshop and it's maybe like 10 plus years old. It's probably not a good idea to have it on my lips or keep wearing it, um, but I just haven't bothered trying to find a new orange lipstick in all these years. Earrings, dee 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 dee. Then <sighs> orange trousers and orange shoes but it gets even more chaotic because I have an orange handbag. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Haven't really been able to get much use out of this one during the pandemic, but we love it. Got this in a charity shop. I have an orange chilies bottle. Let's just add that in there. I have an orange beanie. Uh, not quite the weather for it, but oh my God. <laughs> And then the cherry on top, I have an orange mask. Oh boy, oh boy, what have I become? <laughs> it is the day that we're all excited to see. It is yellow. Also today is a no makeup day, but if I were gonna do makeup, then I probably would just done gold eyeshadow. But these earrings that I have in like basically all the time are yellow, so. There we go. Okay, so we've got cropped tee, yellow cardi. I also am wearing a yellow bra and yellow underwear. So, winner. Um, and then I've got my Lucy and Yak trousers on. This is the first time I've busted them out this year. Um, and I've got yellow socks. If I was going outside in this outfit um, and I still wanted to do the yellow, I'd have to take the socks off because the only yellow shoes I have are sandals. Um, but I also have a little yellow bag, although the zip on this is kind of fucked and I need to get some sort of summer replacement for my little bag. And then my yellow mask. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, it is day green, Richard of York gave. And the only really green items I own are this uh, cacti dress and this green hoodie that has followed me around for the last uh, 15 years. But once again, I have not disappointed with the accessories. I've, I found these, I have got these. Da, da, da. It's again a no makeup day, I don't have any green makeup on. Um, and then this um, is a belt from a pair of trousers that I have. Those trousers are green, yes, but um, I didn't have a green top to go with it. But we're just using the belt as a little headband. And that's what we've done. Oh, wait, one sec, where's my, oh, my bag. And then my favorite bag is green. Da, 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 da. I feel like, Dora the Explorer. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also wearing that green thong from the thong video, but I'm not gonna show you that. So, green underwear as well. Blue, blue, blue. Okay, so I could have gone with like jeans, denim, and I have like a blue hoodie, and I have like two blue tops. 
Um, but instead, I'm currently uh, renting this dress from On Loan and I am obsessed with this dress. Normally, I feel good when I return the clothes that I am renting, um, but this is one that if I ever see On Loan uh, like sell on in the future, like after it's been rented a whole bunch of times, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to try and get it. <laughs> I'm obsessed, I love it. And then this cardigan I got on Depop and it's from Topshop. And then in terms of accessories and layers, turns out I have no blue jewelry. Um, I do, however, have blue slippers. I mean, maybe they're gray, <laughs> but I think, I think it works in combo with the outfit. Still feels like a fully blue outfit. And then I thought going with jeans would be a cheat, but the only like blue outer layer I have is a denim jacket, so we're still going with the denim, which I think works really well with this dress. And then I do actually have a blue bag, which is this, my like big old rucksack that I use uh, when I've got lots of shit to carry. And I actually did go out looking exactly like this, except not slippers, because um, I just went to the post office and I had loads of stuff in here, so. <laughs> Also look at me now, I'm a 29 year old and this is how far up my back we have the rucksack. None of this like at the arse, which I did when I was 13. <laughs> Although I'm still wearing bunches, so yeah. <laughs> we have made it to Indigo Violet Day. Although now that I'm thinking about it, is Indigo actually like a dark blue? I don't know. We've come to Purple Day. That's where we are at. Oh, can you hear that jingling? My earrings have purple in them. Can you see that? They're the only purple like jewelry that I owned. Um, but this dress I got from On Loan. It's got flowers all over it and it's very long. So in terms of layers, I don't think this is gonna work, but what if I wore <laughs> this big jumper over the top of it? Although it's gonna be warm today, so I don't think I'm actually gonna need this, but I just wanna see what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, what if we did something like this. I don't hate it. If I'm just lounging around the house and I get a bit cold, like this is something I would go with for a full purple outfit. I was just gonna show you <laughs> that I'm wearing purple socks. However, I just remembered I have these shoes. I mean, they are so old and so dirty. Can you see the difference between this color and this color? How long have I had these? They have come to many a wedding and many a red carpet event with me. Wow, look at that. They're all coming off. Oh, I love these shoes so much. They are so comfy for what they are. <laughs> had these for seven years. Right, would you look at that? I just got four inches taller. <laughs> I had to take a step back. Um, I don't know if they'd count as purple, but I think they were purple once. Watch out. I also have this bag, which might be a bit much. I probably wouldn't actually pair these together. Would I? Would I? I don't know. I kind of, I'm on the fence. Uh, I'm also like squatting in my heels. I actually do want to give you a shot of this full outfit, including the feet, instead of just kicking my legs up like I have in every other shot of this video. Okay. This, my friends, is a wedding outfit. Like, I would go to somebody's wedding in this. Oh, oh, I want to go to a party now. I feel all dressed up and ready for a party. Um, so here we are. Again, it's me. Final day, Hannah. Uh, my final thoughts. Um, I think the orange and the yellow days were the most chaotic. <laughs> just really intense. Of just like, not a cohesive outfit at all. It was just, let's see how many orange items I own or how many yellow items I own that I can put on my body at one time. When I did go outside in the orange outfit, I did feel a bit ridiculous and a bit self-conscious of like, are people gonna think that I'm weird? Like, why is that girl all dressed in orange? But then I also have to remember like, even if people do have a fleeting thought like that, it doesn't fucking matter. The odds are actually that they're not thinking about me at all. It's just me that's thinking about me and hopefully my husband, hopefully he thinks about me too. The yellow and the orange style jumbled together outfit is not something that 
I think I will do again. There was something really satisfying about it, but I just don't know if it worked because it felt odd, but there was something really appealing about it, even if it was a bit weird. So I'm undecided. So all of the other days were a bit less intense and were more like normal outfits. And like on the green day, that cacti dress and that green hoodie, I wear those two things together all the time. I mean, I wear that green hoodie with literally everything all the time, um, more for comfort than <laughs> because it's a great styling piece. But I really had fun actually like looking at what accessories I owned in terms of like jewelry, bags. Turns out I got a lot of bags that are lots of different colors. Exciting. And shoes as well. Like there were some surprises, like the heels today. Oh my God, it elevated this outfit to a level where I honestly do not want to <laughs> take it off. And I was planning on cycling somewhere today and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to take this outfit off to get on my bike. <laughs> But day one, the red day, was also a surprise favourite for me. Just the way that the accessories like brought it together, like the handbag, the sunglasses, uh, the red lipstick and the sandals, although on the fence about if they count as red, but still. They're also another pair of shoes that are falling apart because they're so old. But that, I really enjoyed that outfit. It was a great outfit. But yes, Thank you for coming on this very colourful journey with me. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your fave and also if you have ever done something like this or if you're inspired to do something like this and what colour from the rainbow would be easiest for you? Like what would be your orange and yellow? Like my orange and yellow was very intense and chaotic. What is your version of that? Which colour would it be? <laughs> from your wardrobe. I decided not to carry on and do a full black outfit or a full white outfit because I was just having so much fun with the color. I didn't want to end on black and white. Um, so that's why we're ending on a high. We're ending on a, a serious high. Also, I'm like four inches higher. So like, what a high. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.